Hey guys, Badger here. Today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 7, 8 and 10 without a CD, DVD or USB, but directly from the hard drive. You will need a second PC or external to do this. When done, you can just pop in the drive into a new machine or laptop and install directly from it. So first go to my computer, select the drive, right click and format it. Leave all the settings as is, just press format. Press OK. Next. You can mount your CD or ISO and then you have to copy the boot, sources and boot manager files to your new drive. This could take a few minutes. There you go. When that's complete, open up the start menu and then you type in CMD. Right click on the file and select run as administrator. Now type in disk part. When that's complete, Type in list disk. Look for the disk you just formatted and its drive number. Now in this case we want to select disk 2. So type in select disk 2. Now that we have the disk selected we need to activate the partition to make it bootable. So type in list partition and there should only be one. So type in select partition 1. Now we have to make it bootable. To do this type in active. Now that that's done and the partition is now bootable from the BIOS. Now we need to activate the loader. So type in exit. Type in the drive letter followed by a colon. In this case it would be drive E. This selects the drive. Now type in boot backslash boot sect dot exe space forward slash nt60 space e colon press enter now you should see this was a success unless something is actively using the drive you can now close command prompt shut down the pc and then insert the drive into the new pc or if it's on the current system just remember to set the bios to boot from that drive if all went according to plan the setup should now start if it doesn't, let's be honest, you messed up. Go back and try again. Windows should now be installing as normal, but since it's running from the hard drive directly and not from a CD or DVD, it will install much, much faster than it could ever do from those drives. In the next video, I will show you how to create a bootable USB drive to install Windows and even Linux from, and if you really want, multiple Windows versions. So please guys, thumbs up if you liked the video and thumbs down if you disliked it. It's okay, it won't hurt my feelings, I promise. And as always, please comment. If there's anything, any specific help or advice you guys need, I will do my best to get to it. Please remember to subscribe and enjoy guys.